Hi, I'm Nick Parsonbaum, and I'm an electrical engineering student at the University of Texas at Austin. And I'm here to introduce to you our senior design project, the Smart Home Assistant. The Smart Home Assistant is a technology that enables users to wirelessly control home appliances using hand gestures. Our prototype currently supports a light source, thermostat, coffee maker, and iTunes. Jerry Lynn will talk about the user interface and gesture control. Our UI consists of appliance menus that allow the user to change the settings for the appliances as well as receive automatic updates. We use the Leap Motion Controller to interact with these UIs and we chose it because of its compactness, its precision, and its accuracy. Now, in order to use the Leap Motion, we need gestures and so um, we decided on three. Uh, the first one is the swipe gesture. Uh, this one allows you to scroll between the appliance menus. The next one is the screen tap, which allows you to select buttons and uh, select different options. The last one is a slider, so it's a pinch gesture that allows you to control slider values. All of our code uh, was made originally, so for the user interface, um, all the graphics animations the UI elements were created from scratch. For the gestures, uh, they were created as well. The Leap provides a few, but we decided to write a few of our own um, in order to make it specific to our system. And lastly, because we've created such a strong base for the gestures and the user interface uh, and the graphics, all of it can be easily extensible to other projects and for developers that want to either add on another appliance or add a new gesture, all of that can be done easily. Now I will uh, pass it on to Peter, who will talk about uh, sort of some of the communications uh, behind the Wi-Fi protocol that we use. The Smart Home System uses both TCP and UDP to send messages from the control station to the appliance station, in which it would res respond back with messages to tell the control station what happened. It's, uh, we use these features to allow plug and play, in which I can install an appliance station by easily plugging it into the wall outlet. It will start powering on the appliance station so that it can initialize its sockets. And then I can start up the control station on this side. As you can see, the appliance station has connected easily and automatically. I can swipe and gesture to go over to the coffee machine and then start brewing a cup of coffee. After a few seconds, it'll start brewing a cup of coffee, uh, which is indicated by this red LED. We made a cup of coffee already. Mmm, that's a fine cup of coffee. In addition to the coffee machine, we also have a thermostat and a lamp. I'm gonna demonstrate the thermostat. So, as you can see, the temperature is 83 and it's set for a higher temperature. Um, I am a little hot, so I'm going to change the temperature. And I'm going to turn it down. And now, as you can see, the fan has started. And it's nice and cool now. Our gesture-based system has many applications outside the smart home. We envision our product helping the elderly or handicapped interact with their homes more easily. We also believe that this product can be integrated into virtual reality systems. With a gesture-based GUI installed on Google Glass, Oculus Rift, or a Pika projector, users can move around and control objects hands-free. Our team is excited to see the potential of gesture control unfold in the coming years. It was a tremendous experience working with cutting-edge technology Thank you so much for listening.